In this segment, we're going to take a closer look at the Choose Fabric settings. So if I move over to my desktop, the tool is found here, Select Fabric. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on, and it allows me to choose from lists of fabrics. Now, I'm going to just minimize this list right here so we can see the general settings are Embroidery Smooth, Embroidery Ultra Light, Embroidery Light, Embroidery Normal Light, Embroidery Normal, and Embroidery Heavy. Now, the easiest way to learn about those is going to be look to our um, online manual. And I guess what I'll do for the beginning, just to get started, is I'll just go with Embroidery Normal, choose Cotton, and that's going to be what we're set for now. But remember I showed, um, this is the Help tool, and I'm going to just click on the Help tool. I'm just going to click on the tool that we're looking at now, the Fabric Selecting tool, and it brings up um, the online help manual and automatically brings up the information about the select fabric tool and it tells us here embroidery smooth starting with density 5.5 for normal thread with lighter underlay then you've got embroidery normal starting with density 40 for normal thread 40 weight thread um, embroidery normal light starting with density 40 for normal 40s weight thread but with lighter underlay so in other words the difference between embroidery normal and embroidery normal light is that they'll have less density uh, versus the difference between embroidery smooth is it has less density and less underlay so and so these this is where you can find out more about the different settings but what I'm gonna do is close that and just demonstrate exactly how we can see that so I'm just gonna choose my ellipse tool draw an ellipse and maybe I'll even go ahead and um, change the outline of the ellipse to be a satin border there something like that now right now we have our fabric set for embroidery normal and it's on cotton now if I was to use my one easy way to see how your design is going to stitch out is just to use the slow redraw and when I choose slow redraw I get a slow redraw option box now I'm gonna just go ahead and turn that on by hitting start and what you can see is quite quickly I got and I'm just gonna stop it there we got an outline underlay, we got a double grid underlay, which means it's got a grid going one direction, a grid going the opposite direction, and then the stitches coming on top. So that's um, very well supported embroidery. Now, I'm going to say stop, close my redraw tool, and show what would happen if I was to go ahead and choose a different type of embroidery. So instead of doing embroidery normal, why don't we go to embroidery um, normal light and again I can just choose oh I guess um, embroidery standard normal light will be the choice and I'll get a lighter colored fabric and say okay now if I go back to that slow redraw I think you'll be able to see if I push start it went and I'll just stop it right there see that it walked around the outside so we have an edge run underlay but we don't have that double grid underlay supporting the stitches on top so that's an example of not only how to choose your fabric but how you can see ch what changes when you choose those fabrics and again if you use the help um, option and select this tool it'll give you more information where you can discover exactly how each setting is used and how it will affect the overall embroidery design.